Everyone knows what Clue is, at least the board game, um, the movie, I don't know how popular it is. So um, it was good for advertisement. Um, and then when we actually went to do the play, um, I think the casting was really good. I feel like everybody fit into their characters really well. Um, and it was definitely fun to see everybody's uh, characterization and how they would play their characters differently. It was really fun to do, especially like this was my first time actually being a performer. So that definitely was a new experience that I'm glad that I got to experience this year. And then who were you in the play? Um, I played Professor Plum for Cast B. I was Wadsworth for Cast A. Wadsworth is the butler, uh, technically, technically. For, for most of the show, he's the butler, but eventually it gets revealed that um, he's actually the owner of the household. So, yeah. I'm a killer, yeah. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I'm a technician. I'm backstage crew. We turned the porch from West Side Story into a library slash garden place. I'm prop crew head. And what does that mean? That means I'm in charge of running the props for backstage and just like making sure everything is there. I was the part of the design team. We helped like paint sets and like do the props and like the dummies for the dead bodies. It was like a lot of fun getting to do that. And I even had uh, a hand in the film team where we got to record uh, parts of the actual play. And that was a bit of a hassle, but it was a lot of fun. The biggest challenge uh, I faced was probably moving the props out on time. Some of the cues were very short um, and they're very easily missed. The more we practiced, the more easier it got. The theater department's really good. I remember when I took my first drama class here, um, there was a lot of fundamentals that Miss G was really good at teaching. Miss G's the um, theater teacher. She just teaches all the basics. She teaches about projecting, how to not be nervous on stage, how to kind of... She doesn't really teach you how to get used to stage lights. You get used to them yourself. As you go up in the drama classes, so drama two, drama three, you learn more and more and you get to perform more too. I would definitely recommend the art department because it's a place where you can really take that creative part of your brain and just flesh it out more in, in ways that you didn't think that you could before. So I think that it's perfect for everybody to try to at least get in there once. Do you recommend theater more or do you recommend film more? I think that whatever you want is what, whichever one you should go to. If you are more accustomed to theater, then you should go for the drama are more familiar with like editing softwares and like cameras, then you should definitely go to film because that's more oriented towards like computer-based stuff because film and theater are two different realms basically, but they kind of gel together when they need it. If you're not into acting, you want to see what it's like backstage, I, I really do recommend taking this class. I've met some good people that I consider friends and as someone who's going to pursue STEM outside of college, it just makes me appreciate the fine arts more. As you get older, you have to kind of take on more of a leadership role because there's incoming freshmen, incoming sophomores that kind of have to learn the basics uh, from scratch. Throughout um, the years, you just kind of get more experience. You learn just how to avoid certain catastrophes, how to um, essentially be a better actor. Everyone did really well in the play, I believe, or to the best of their capabilities, um, and fund, fund the arts, <laughs> that's all I can say.